Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I Keep on searching for my heart You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down channel my home my garden to Norway in today's video I will finally show you the finished version of my raised bed vegetable garden uh, as you saw in the intro it has been <laughs> some time in the making uh, this is our third summer the first year we only had a couple of raised beds and uh, the surroundings were not finished that was, was actually the best years uh, best year when it comes to uh, how much we produced of vegetables uh, last year we kind of finished I didn't get to decorate a lot so this year has been the most fun this year I could uh, kind of lay the final touches on our vegetable garden it's not a big garden uh, and it is in Norway uh, so it's not the easiest place to grow vegetables and flowers and such but uh, and I am awful I have no green fingers but I do the best that I can uh, I hope you can get inspired and get some ideas uh, I have been inspired by uh, garden answer Laura and Aaron uh, as I said in my previous videos I have at least two previous videos uh, which the clip in the intro was from uh, so you can see if you want to see kind of the whole process uh, so that is what I thought we would do today. I'll just walk you through and explain uh, and show you uh, what we have done. Okay, so I thought I would start the tour here and for reference sake show you where the vegetable garden are placed in the garden. Uh, that's the entry to our property and the vegetable garden is 
reaching from about there to there behind the home for the fishes <laughs> and the old uh, bunny house it has three entrances this is kind of the main entrance it has one there and one in that end so uh, and the pond is here and as you saw in my last video the one with the late bug decor uh, this has become my favorite spot of uh, corner in the garden this is my summer meadow that i have planted i have grown this i can't believe it i know i should it has kind of fallen over because of some heavy rainstorms but i cannot bring myself to to uh, cut it because i think they are it's so beautiful uh in alongside of the wall here it's pretty shaded so it does not uh, grow a lot hydrangea a limelight hydrangea it survived the winter so i'm so pleased with that doing well these uh, candle holders or tea lights holders are new i have this uh, uh, solar cellar solar cellar is that the english word i think so light in them they are beautiful at night the path as i've told you before is inspired by garden answers palette uh, walk way uh, so this is my favorite entrance to the vegetable garden uh, as you see i have painted the fence and the arch archway uh, white i love a white picket fence and as you also have seen if you have followed me you know that ladybugs is my thing this year so there's a lot of ladybugs uh, as i said i cannot grow anything but i have managed to grow something so i'm so pleased sunflowers we bought these flowering uh oh, what are they called in english ferns at a garden show and they're not looking great right now but uh, uh but but they was uh, pink and uh, and uh, white i have these metal ladybugs on the wall and i have kind of uh, i have painted repainted lots of the decor i had and this is actually also new this year uh, i laid down a gravel here uh, and made a kind of a tidy corner and then this is my messy i'm sorry about the shadow and this is my messy beautiful flowering corner i have used three different kind of summer meadow seeds one for fragrance one for ladybugs and one for the bees uh, so there's a lot of pollinators here ah uh, just love it so as i said this is my favorite entrance here too i have these metal ladybugs and then you walk into the vegetable garden and we have uh, one two three four five raised beds we can start off in the other end so it's easier for you to see uh, i painted the black bench white and i did and i love this i found a poem by a famous norwegian poet uh, a lady she's dead now but she's she's called vesos uh, and it may be difficult for you to see but i have engraved and 
painted with gold paint a uh, part of the poem and it's it's called smilna bank that means the smiling bench and it says can a bench smile this bench can so now the bench is smiling with uh, its whole body or it holds the whole the whole of the bench is smiling uh, i sit down and now i'm smiling with whole my whole self or the whole of me i'm sorry terrible <laughs> terrible translation but it i thought that turned out so cute so this is i'm yet to make that we are making some stairs here uh, but we haven't done that yet i was hoping that my uh, sweet peas was going to flower but they haven't I have planted those here that was my mother's favorite flower so if we stand here we get a view of the vegetable garden so this is my salad and herb garden I cannot grow herbs I have now tried for the third year I think I don't know what I'm doing wrong. At least I got some salad this year. I did not yes last year. I have potato and oh, what is that called? Not leek, but uh, it's called puree in Norwegian. It's a kind of leek uh, or onion. Uh, that's strawberries sweet peas and in the back is gr uh, green kale uh, and in the the bed for furthest from me there's carrots and tomatoes uh, i we have gravel in the on the ground i am going to make some pathways with some beautiful uh, some beautiful uh, kind of uh, tiles made of uh, concrete or yeah but I didn't get to I, I haven't gotten around to making them yet it's going to take a long time uh, here I have some driftwood I love driftwood in the garden and this does not actually fit our garden but I bought them so I'm using them they are solid solar paneled drifted lights solar lights uh, it's beautiful in the evening uh, over here I have some flowers this is the other entrance uh, I have some flowers uh, my flowers are kind of uh, at the end of the season but I <laughs> I managed to film this before they died. This is a fountain. It's just it's only running at night. Uh, I love it. This is also new. I got my husband to make this um, window of driftwood or window frame of driftwood and a knob. He, we also found this funny wooden little wooden thing which we which I hang some of my tools from uh, this shed needs to be painted and we have some lights here that's also solar driven is that how you say it I think so Okay guys, so that is our earlier or former bunny house, which now is a garden shed. Uh, seeing that I'm an awful gardener, I just have to show you because I'm actually able to grow some things. Uh, salad, leek, but not herbs. This is my attempt on or the, uh, on basil and uh, something I don't know the English name of uh, 
chive, I think. No, not chive. Uh, coriander. I don't think that's the English word, but yeah, I'm failing miserable. As you can see, we have this net. We have a lot of deers here. Uh, so uh, that's the reason for the net. This is their restaurant, at least that's what they think. Uh, I have potatoes. Uh, these are called almonds, almond potatoes, at least in Norwegian. Uh, my puda, uh, some kind of onion, uh, my, and these are not enjoying being fenced in, uh, so I had to cut them once. I should have cut them earlier. Now they are growing through the roof again. But that's my sweet peas. I had radishes. They were awful this year. I managed last year, but not this year. This is my cucumber. It was that like that last year as well. Uh, came very late. So I'm optimistic that I will have cucumber. Oh, look at that view. I love it. This is my kale. And um, that is humongous this year it's a lot and i have this this net for not only for the deers because they eat everything including the kale it's the last thing they eat but they will eat that as well but it's for the flies that eat the kale uh, and they are looking great so it's working i <laughs> this is what i had left so I'm trying to protect my tomatoes from the deers. I have at least larger tomato plants this year than last year, but few tomatoes so far. And here's my carrots. I have planted carrots in different colors. So this is my vegetables. And I'm so proud that I am able to grow vegetables and it's so much fun oh, i forgot to show you at the back up i made a sign it says benjamin and grandma's vegetable garden he loves the vegetable garden this is kind of our thing i also hung these uh these i'm not sure what they are called uh, with the uh, solar lanterns they are not working at the moment but my husband will get them to work and then this is uh, an old planter we've had a lot these are very expensive we had a lot but they are rotting i should have yeah treated them with something you saw us make this water feature uh, last year uh, and it can hook uh, i was supposed to use that as a uh, when i was when i am watering the vegetable i have not it's been for decor mainly but it can uh, i can connect it to water uh, my husband made that. This is the top, is an old, f uh, old water feature we had. And then look at this. My, this was actually black, and I wanted it to look. You can get this in our local garden center, but it is so expensive. I think it's about one thousand three hundred. Four hundred dollars or something. So I bought this cheap and paint. I'm sorry, my battery died. But this is also a new feature this year. This pergola or pavilion, uh, and I it was black when I bought it, and I painted it. I wanted it to look kind of rusty and old. I don't know if I I wasn't a hundred percent pleased, but. I thought, think it looks 
good and I was supposed to have a beautiful flower <laughs> hanging from this but it died on me isn't this the, just the cutest So this was my vegetable garden. Uh, I have a messy corner here as well for planting and supplies. I'm going to work on getting that done better. I'm also making a... This is the third uh, gate to the garden and I'm going to make a path through the lawn here i have been gone up there but yeah so that's another project okay guys i hope you enjoyed our uh, vegetable garden tour i love how the garden the vegetable garden looks right now uh, as i said we have some small projects making some pathways and uh, things like that but uh, it's pretty finished now and I love how it turned out. I hope you got inspired. I hope you got some ideas maybe. Maybe you uh, got inspired to make uh, English tea. I was supposed to make a proper English tea but uh, there's no time because we are going on holiday tomorrow. Fingers crossed if we can get things done here at home first but I wanted to get this video out to you so now I filmed it and I'm bringing it along and I'm going to upload it while I'm on holiday so uh, thank you so much for watching guys I hope you're all doing well thank you so much for all the lovely comments you leave on my videos please continue to do so I love to hear from you uh, and I hope I'll see you for my next video bye